What's up, fuckheads? It's Paint. And today, uh, I was kind of strapped for ideas, but then put the, f- the feelers out to the Snapchat. By the way, go ahead and add the Snapchat. As toked as fuck, stoked as fuck. But um, the thing is, someone asked me, oh, make a chemo blog. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to say, because a lot of people have asked me in the past, what's chemo like? And I've been on it for about eight months, so I feel like I'm qualified. I I know the um, what's what for at least my type. So I'm uh, right before we get into that, I do have a Discord and uh, links in the description. I have an Instagram. It's MS Paint Animations. And then, then again, the um, the Snapchat is just... Fucking toked AF, stoked AF. No spaces, all lowercase. But chemo. Okay, so I've had an astrocytoma in my left temporal lobe for I don't know how long. And I just started chemo last June. So today, February 11th, I'm right around the eight month mark and I only have four months left of treatment. But my version of chemo, it's called vinblastine, it isn't super hard hitting, you know, it's not, you know, it's not the shit that's going to make you be in front of the toilet for fucking hours and hours. I realize that there are some chemo drugs that are like that, but I just got lucky, I guess, you know, as lucky as someone can ha- can be with cancer, you know, but the thing is, um... I don't know. I could, I could still talk about my experiences. I've only thrown up once on chemo. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't even that bad, you know, feeling pretty good. But the thing is, the actual experience is a little fucky, you know, like going into the fucking like the chemo office and shit and seeing all those little kids and shit with fucking cancer. It's rough. But I mean, uh, most you could do or the least you could do. Is, you know, like, I don't know, tell jokes and shit. That's what I usually do when I get there. But, um, when you go into the office, it's a little weird. Like, they, uh, I have a port in my chest and, uh, looks kind of like a fucking, I don't know, like a fucking, like a triangle. And they stick a needle in the middle of that triangle. And that's how they give me my drugs. And, um, when the chemo goes into my body, at least for my kind, it feels like a waterfall or like a one drop of water is rushing down my chest and then into my leg. And then when it reaches my toes, like I can feel it in my, all my fingers and all my toes. This is going to really start to hit like the chemo probably tomorrow morning when I wake up. It's going to be like, Ugh, and I'm going to feel like I have fucking like lead in my fucking veins like that's that's one way i just describe it but it's not exactly that it's more like clay you know it's like a thin like loopy fucking piece of clay it's just in all of my veins and i could feel all of them a really weird thing to do if you ever have to god forbid you have to get fucking chemo um is playing the guitar you know because the guitar strings cut into your fingers and it just feels so fucking weird, you know? It's like you're pushing the chemo out of your finger with, like, every hit of the guitar, but it's like, I don't, it just, it's weird. It's odd. How about I say that? But there's just going to be that, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. You know, I'm a little baked. I had chemo today, so I was there for fucking, like, four hours. There was kind of a long line. But it's whatever, you know. And when I was, um, every time I go, I actually just get baked as shit now. And no one really cares, which I find is really nice. That is one of the positives about um, having to get chemo. No one really bats an eye whenever you're just stoned every time they see you. And I'm actually getting really good at talking when I'm high now, like in public situations, especially, you know, I don't know. It always just, I feel like I'm making like smooth moves, baby, you know, whenever I'm just 
having a conversation with a sober person when I'm high. My doctor actually described me as a fucking intellectual today. <laughs> Cause we were talking about, um, fucking cocaine use <laughs> in the college fucking environment. Not my cocaine use. If I do cocaine, I'm a die. But the thing is, it's just, it's kind of refreshing not having like any judging eyes. Like whenever you're high, I bet all you guys, because you're probably stoners too, can relate to that. But I feel like the uh, the weirdest thing to come out of all this is that I feel like, fuck, if I'm like talking to a girl, right? And then that girl is like trying to meet up with me. I can't, I obviously can't go out because I'm uh, fucking anemic right now because of the chemo. And then, you know, if I get fucking infected, I could take the big sleep. So I don't really fuck with it. But it's always weird whenever I tell a girl that I'm talking to or even just a guy or anyone that I'm talking to that I have like chemo or I'm getting chemo and I have like, a, you know, cancer. And then they're just, they just always look at me like a little bit differently. You know, it's def it's subtle, but I could definitely notice it. You know, it's kind of like a um, little bit of a pity thing, which I always found was weird because I just never understood it. You know, I've just I've kind of been just raised just to deal with my own shit, you know, and just kind of let everything move on. You know, many people just don't understand that, you know, they're the. uh kind of people who feel like because something happened to you they have to try to do something for you kind of people i don't know if you really understand what i'm saying but if you've had some shit happen and then someone kind of just looked at you differently because that shit happened you might be able to get what i'm saying you know obviously not my like friends and shit but just like bitches on tinder you know who don't really matter but it's like it's always a little tweaked so yeah, I don't know what else really to say. Um, four months left, so um, I actually have a really nice bottle of fucking champagne that I'm going to be chugging uh, whenever I finish. And then uh, right after that, in next December, I'm going to be turning 21. So that's definitely, that's when the MILF Hunter video is probably going to come out. Cause I'm gonna have to go to some fucking milf infested bars in downtown LA if COVID's over, you know, and uh, with a Hendon, Hendon camera and my fucking bow tie, you know, dressed like fucking James Bond and shit. But yeah, that's that's really the video. I'm gonna be live streaming tomorrow. If you want to pop on by, we could play games together. I don't fucking know. Um, but other than that, um, my name is Paint. Join the Discord and my Snap. Follow the Instagram. And uh, go fuck yourself. I don't know. Oh, wait. Let me hit that. Go fuck yourself. I still got it. Still fucking got it. All right. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you.